If um, our latest is that DA members believe that they have more rights to be represented at national level as 20% of the citizens voted for them. Let's follow up on that. This was after the EFF stated that they want to work with the ANC at national level provided the ANC can dump DA. DA members then joined that discussion. They said that is not going to happen. According to them, millions of South Africans voted for the DA and it must be represented. Natasha from DA said 20% of South Africans who were eligible to vote voted for the DA. Tifeda said to exclude the DA from any conversation is silencing millions of voices from all races. When she was asked why the same concept was not applied in KZN since in KZN MK was leading by 45%, she could not give a clear answer. So the main question is if the DA feels deserving and entitled to be part of the government with 20% of national votes, why then did they not advise the ANC and the IFP of the same concept in KZN? Are they then suggesting that KZN people are being forced to be governed by parties they didn't really want? The DA and the ANC are suggesting that the voices and choices of their voters must be respected, but when it comes to MK, the opposite is true. When she was cornered, Natasha said 45% provincially is not the same as 20% nationally. Those were her reasons. And now the same ANC and DA are fighting over seats in Gauteng. ANC is saying it's leading and they won't allow DA to control them. And DA is also saying they have 30 something percent and they are not backing down. But in case that end, they bullied MK. Please remember to leave your comments down below and let us know of your take regarding this. And that's all we have for now. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next update. Bye.